Hello and welcome to day two, part two. I just want to say the theming in Cars Land is like incredible. It's really amazing. Let me point out a few things that are like catching my eye here. Look at these flowers. They're like headlights. I think I called these light bulbs. I meant to say tail lights. Look at these windows. They even have like Lysol wipes. On the topic of theming, look at how cool the cozy cone looks. Oh, I know that this ride's great. There's fettuccine alfredos. Oh, I like this song. It reminds me of pizza. There's fettuccine. This ride is hilarious. <laughs> this is like getting on the teacups, like trying to find what color car you're gonna take. I want the orange one. I want the orange one. I'm so excited. Let's get the orange one. Got it. <laughs> oh, we got tan interior. Here we go. Oh my goodness, this is so funny. This is so funny. Look at them, look at them go. Look at them. Well, we're part of them. We're like one of them. Oh no. <laughs> this is so funny. We're moving like a ballerina, but we're not at all. We're, this is not. <laughs> Now we are synchronized car dancing. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that was a beautiful finale. <laughs> now I've never done Mater, so I think we'll go try that and see how that compares to Alien Swirling Saucers. You know what's neat is that like everything out here is outside instead of like covered up by something because of the rain. Look at how funny. Here's a good tractor for us. Oh, this is awful. <laughs> oh, this is the worst. Oh, it really is just like alien thrilling saucers. It's so funny. <laughs> I'm sliding across the street. I mean, not the street, the sea. <laughs> It is just, it is literally just like, just like the ride of Hyrule Studio. And now we're gonna go swoop it around this way. <laughs> it's, it's funny, it's really cute. It's fun, it's fun, it's cute. I slid across the seat again. <laughs> I love when Mater speaks Spanish. Mater's petty too. Go to the bathroom. I am still in Cars Land. I have not left yet. I've been in here for I'd say about two hours now. I just kind of like like the music and like the, the whole it's like it reminds me of like old times. I like being in here a lot. And I don't even like know anything about cars. You know what I'm trying to get to is that pathway with the hood ornament valley and I ended up back over here. I'm, okay, now we're on the right path. And then we'll come back out by the fish place, the fish market. Like, you see what I mean? Like, the windows are all like 1950s and the garbage is like 2020. Oh, it looks so awesome in here. Like, the lights and everything go and like change. But I'm on the hunt for a coffee. I mean, look at this. Now imagine like just coming around this corner. You're here right now. Oh, no, no, it's a- You're coming around the corner. Bam, there it is. Just hit you like that. Now, isn't this bridge supposed to be like an earthquake? I stood on it earlier by myself with no one around me because there was literally nobody here earlier. And I didn't feel anything, nothing. Okay, sure, yeah, we'll go do that again. I am so confused. This is single riders entrance and then exit. Single riders. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. We're just gonna go this way anyway and just see. We were right, yes, that is the single 
Michael Rogers entrance, even though it says exit. I am so excited to do this again. It was so much fun last time. It was like, everything here is just so fun. I think California Adventure is a lot more like laid back and like chill than Disneyland. Disneyland's very comforting and like just so beyond happy. I mean, it's so happy here, but it's also like really laid back. coming from here so I'm going to go on in here look at how colorful it is in here and then they got the candy and then the lollipops and then the rainbow and then he's crying candy and then you got this what is this first cookie treat I just made some really fun awesome cast member friends they were so nice if you guys are watching hello it was so nice to meet you guys and thanks for talking to me for so long and I have never drank a water so fast in my entire life ever Never. Okay, now we're gonna head over to Disneyland for a little bit because I have a fast pass for Indiana Jones and I don't wanna miss that. You know those shirts that girls wear that say like, meet me in my castle? I'm gonna get one that says like, meet me in my corn dog castle. Everything in this like section over here, even like the balloons and the cotton candy is Lunar New Year flavored. It's very interesting. What does Lunar New Year even taste like? You can meet Mike and Soli over here. There's the Grand Californian. I kind of want to go in there. We'll do that another day. We'll go in there. We'll do the resorts like another day because I do want to ride my fast pass. We just like came out of Grizzly Peak and the whole time I didn't even realize I was in like a themed area because it was so like nature-y. It just looked like Pennsylvania. Okay, remember when I said I was waiting to find coffee? Well, I finally found it. It's at the front of the park, of course. This looks amazing. I am definitely getting this. Isn't it beautiful? This looks so good. That's literally my three favorite foods besides pineapple. And then I got my cappuccino here. And we're just gonna kind of sit. Oh, it came with granola. That was a surprise. It didn't have it. I mean, look at her sleeping. He's just sleeping in the napkin. Okay, we're back in Disneyland. We're gonna go do great moments with Mr. Lincoln. Minnie's here, and then Mickey's right there. See? Oh, yes. I thought that, I thought that was Haunted Mansion theme. Never mind. And as soon as you walk into here, you're greeted with the park bench and it says the actual park bench from the Griffith Park merry-go-round in Los Angeles where Walt Disney first dreamed of Disneyland. Isn't that incredible? It really is. I noticed over here I hear a lot of Haunted Mansion things happening. And there's like this whole little like Haunted Mansion setup. Like with concept art and just portraits and things. This is one impressive waiting room area. This is, look at this. Over here is Abraham Lincoln's bench. It was made by Richard Broderick. He sat right here when he thought of the penny. Wow. And this is a replica of the fireplace that he sat in front of the day he came up with the $5 bill. And if you see, they have a framed penny right here on the mantle. Amazing. It's happening. So when we decided to bring to Disneyland's visitors, some great moment. Right up here, folks. Mr. Lincoln has been expecting you. Mr. Lincoln has been expecting, expecting us.
Came nightfall with that time that we were in there, and look at how beautiful it looks with the main street and the pretty sky. The band's out and they're playing The Lion King. Look at this. I say that so much, but like I just, I, I can't get enough of it all. This area back here is so amazing. We have to get to our Indiana Jones Fast Pass though. We gotta get going. Look at this path though. I think it's really neat that you can like get your Dole Whip and then like go in and watch the Tiki Room. We're gonna have to do that one of these days. I am so confused here. I am now in Frontierland. I don't even know how I got here. I was in, I was in Adventureland and now I'm in Frontierland. I am beyond lost. I am so excited to ride this. Not disturb the bats. No, just this queue line reminds me of the Goonies. I think I've said that about something else. Oh, pirates, the, the treasure in pirates. This does too. Definitely pick dinosaur always over that Indiana Jones. It was fun though. It was really cool, but definitely love dinosaur. Okay, now we're going to head back to California Adventure so we can get a nice little spot for World of Color, and then we'll head back to the room and call it a night for tonight. Call it a night for tonight. Isn't it so strange how you like go from Disneyland and then back to California Adventure just by walking across? And do you hear that fantastic music? enjoyed that. Now it's time to head back to the room, summon our Uber, our Uber, our Uber. Oh, it's sore and music. I did for the rest of the trip buy a bus pass and um, so I would like board my bus over here somewhere, I guess. I think we'll learn that together. 
Okay, that's going to end part two of day two. I kind of ended that abruptly and didn't like give a proper outro. If you're new to the channel, I would love if you subscribe and came on our adventures with us. If you enjoyed this video, maybe give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, I'm sorry. And remember, we have a lot more story left to tell. Different fields. And we've had the opportunity to meet and work with a lot of wonderful people. I only hope that we never lose sight of one thing that was all started by a mouse. Now that's why I want this part of the show.